I want everybody to know that the battle already won. Everybody know that? Do everybody know that the battle already won? Are uh, we on one accord? Oh yeah. Did God already win this battle or not? Oh yeah. Is it not won? The battle won. What we messed up is that we can't look at each other as brothers because it ain't about black and white. It's not. It's not. We human beings. When we go to heaven, it ain't gonna be no first black. You see what I'm saying? So when you look at your brothers right here, we are what 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 we come from each other. There's no one certain type of race right here. This is America. You see what I'm saying? And we're not here for none of that. We're here for justice for trade. You know what I'm saying? The man did not hold his ground. That's that's what he said he did. He held his ground. He gained ground on the man when they was when he disobeyed a direct order to not follow this man. And Trayvon coming from the hood, coming from the street. See, his father was a blood. He got a, he got a town in court, but he was a blood, a member of blood. And this is what Trayvon wanted to be growing up. This is what these kids look at me. They want to be like me because I got tattoos on my face. But they don't know what, what, what this struggle about. The struggle about the knowing who you are and what you can do and what God gave you to do with the ability that you had. You can do anything that your mind create. In your mind, you can make it happen. You know what I'm saying? And, and we just need to come together, man, and, and, and let everybody know, man, that, that this I'm, I'm going through it right now because because it's it's I'm the parents of Trayvon Martin. You know what I'm saying? Not not you guys. You see what I'm saying? You are our parents, and we are the parents of these kids that's getting worse and worse because we missing an action. You know what I'm saying? We not we not standing up to our responsibility. So I take full responsibility of what's going on because I was the same kid that looked at the OG with all the tattoos on him and I knew I was going to prison because I knew that's how I had to get it. You know what I'm saying? So what I'm just trying to do is just be an example of not going back to prison. I'm on parole right now. I've been home four and a half years on a 15 years since I got shot by the police. You know what I'm saying? Still wobbling because the money went, the bullet went through the money first. So that, that show you right there that God got me here for a reason. You see what I'm saying? And, and, and you know, it, it's just it's just about the profile of this hoodie that this man had on. You know what I'm saying? We can't blame Zimmerman for trying to protect his community. The man was trying to protect his community and messed up. That's why he couldn't be a police officer, because he didn't have the, the mind to not profile somebody first. And it messed him up. And he think he gone now, and he think he won now, but it ain't over with. Because we got to face the consequences of what went on and what we do. You see what I'm saying? And, uh... You know, I'm just here for all the youth, man. I'm, I'm trying to be an example for you guys. I'm uh, going for the Guinness Book of World Records on uh, August the 17th for uh, most tattoos in the day by a single artist. I got a Trayvon Martin tattoo today on my head. It ain't it ain't been done yet. Ain't nobody did it yet. You see what I'm saying? This this right here is, is a testimony. Every time I got to tell my testimony or somebody asks me something, the Bible say you overcome. All right. You get hired every time you tell your testimony. You see what I'm saying? So I ain't got no problem with talking to the kids and getting out there with them in the trenches. I'll die for it. I swear to God. Amen. Come on, brothers, from our proud for this. Let's give them a black hand, too, all right? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Thank you for a lot.